If you want to become an expert, it's not as hard as you might think, but you have to make sure you do it the right way. A lot of people do it the wrong way, which means they waste time and never become experts in anything. Now you might be wondering, in fact, you probably should be wondering, what is this method? But more importantly, how do we know it works? And we know it works because of this man. This is Benjamin Bloom, and he spent his entire career, that was about five decades, researching expertise and what makes an expert. And what he found is quite incredible. There are six, six requirements to become an expert on something. Uh, and you don't need natural ability or natural talent. You just need to fulfill these six steps and you can become an expert on absolutely anything. These are the six steps and we'll be diving into what they mean in a minute. But first of all, I want to show you why they're so useful. Imagine you were going on a journey and only had a vague idea of the location of your destination. You didn't know your current location and also didn't know whether you were going over roads or fields or mountains or water. I wouldn't travel in that car with you. Bloom's method gives you a map, tells you where you are, where you should be going and how to get there. I'm back in the car, brought my sandwiches, Marmite, my top trumps and my Mr. Men cassette. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bloom's method is called Bloom's Taxonomy, which is off-putting, but it has nothing to do with stuffing dead animals. I know that because I looked it up. It just means a way of categorizing things. So instead of Bloom's Taxonomy, just see it as Bloom's way of categorizing something. Actually, that something is thinking because it's thinking and only thinking that will make you an expert. Here's how to do it. Imagine you wanted to become an expert chef, you know, so you could have your own TV show and become famous for swearing at everybody. You might start with that classic Italian dish, spaghetti carbonara, and you're going to use Bloom's taxonomy. Here's how you do it. Most experts can actually remember the thing that they're expert in. So it all starts here. You have to memorize the basic recipe. You don't have to understand the ingredients or techniques. Just learn them. Use flashcards and test yourself. What are you trying to learn? Coding? remember the syntax, violin, remember the notes, physics, the formulae. Experts know why they do what they do. They move beyond memorization, they understand. And at this point, you have to ask yourself lots of questions. Why, 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 why? Why do you add salt to pasta water? Why use pancetta instead of bacon? I don't know, but then I'm not an expert in spaghetti carbonara. For this step, you need to explain. If you have friends, explain it to friends. If, like me, you don't have any friends, explain it to yourself. Write it down in your own words. What does that bit of code do? Why did Beethoven overuse perfect cadences? Experts can do the thing they're expert in. So the cooking expert doesn't just talk about making spaghetti carbonara, they make spaghetti carbonara. That's step three. Whatever you're learning, you have to do it. Write the code, play the piece of music, solve the equation. Some people think that they can learn just by reading or watching YouTube videos. I used to. It's easy and it feels like you're learning, but your brain is tricking you. Don't be tricked. Do the thing. Remember, understand and do. These first three steps are important, but they're not enough to become an expert. Bloom gave them a name, lower order thinking skills. A lot of people spend their whole lives stuck here. To become an expert, you need to cultivate higher order thinking skills. You need the next three steps for that. Experts understand what each component does and why it's there. They know what will happen if it's substituted or removed. Why does the recipe use butter? What would happen if that was changed to oil or there was a different amount or it was cooked at a different temperature? What's the difference between pecorino cheese and parmesan? Why three eggs and not two or four? Why are eggs needed at all? You can do it, but you have to know why you do it if you want to be an expert. So in other domains, it might be, what's each line of code doing in this particular code block or in Newton's equations of motion? What is each term doing? Why is it necessary? Break it down into its constituent parts. I just mentioned critical thinking. That's not criticizing everyone because, you know, you're great and they're rubbish. If you want that, Twitter, X, Reddit or Stack Overflow is the place for you. Critical thinking is when you can read and analyze information from different sources and use it to form your own views, arguments and decisions. It's Black Friday and you get a notification about a fantastic deal on a washing machine. Here it is, this little beauty. It was $400 and has been reduced to just $309. What a deal, you're having that. You buy it, get it home, install it and love it. But then a friend shows you this. You could have bought it for $249 a few months before Black Friday and the store discounted it a month afterwards. 
This actually happened, which a consumer champion company in the UK monitored 201 products for a year and found only one of them was actually cheaper in the Black Friday sale. Critical thinking skills would have stopped you being conned. They're also essential for innovation, for creating ideas and problem solving. Without critical thinking, some of the greatest inventions in human history would not have been possible. I'm thinking the wheel, the microchip, Bing. Critical thinking is a skill that some employers will pay more for. So it's worth having and it could lead to a better life. By learning Bloom's taxonomy, you'll develop these skills and probably have a better life. It's what I'm here for. It's what I'm here for. Experts can tell if what they do turns out as it should. They can also critique the works of others. So try your dish. Does it taste the way it should? If not, why not? What about dishes by other chefs? Do they taste better or worse than yours? Why? What ingredients or methods have they used that you didn't? An expert will know just by tasting them. What's the difference between a good and a great carbonara? Or why does Mozart sound different to Beethoven? Can Bach's influence be felt in both? You'll often see Bloom's taxonomy written like this. There's a little triangle or pyramid with the sixth step create right at the top. And you create something. You use the skills that you've developed by remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, and evaluate to create something completely original. If you're learning coding, that might be writing some software that does something that you specifically want to do. If you're learning how to write, you write something original. If it's music, I don't know, write a piano concerto or something. Oh, that reminds me. It's time for me to listen to the Mr. Men. Now you know how to become an expert. I think you're going to love Brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant's the best way to become an expert in STEM subjects like math, data analysis, programming and AI. Let me show you why. Brilliant is a learning platform created by experts from places like MIT, Caltech and Microsoft. It's designed to help you master subjects like math, data analysis, programming and AI. And it's uniquely effective. Brilliant's hands-on approach is rooted in applying knowledge to unlock deeper comprehension, much like Bloom's method. You explore concepts through doing, problem solving, and thinking. It's not just memorizing facts. Each lesson hones your ability to tackle challenges creatively while deepening subject knowledge and cultivating critical thinking. It's the best way to learn and six times more effective than watching videos. The thousands of interactive lessons help you to build a daily learning habit which is key to unlocking your full potential. I really like the course How LLMs Work. It's all about AI and lets you experience and harness the mechanics of today's most advanced tools. You'll work on real language models and understand how they build vocabulary. And it shows you the importance of training data. So you get to compare models trained on Taylor Swift lyrics with ones trained on legal documents. Are you ready to start your journey towards expertise? Try everything Brilliant has to offer free for 30 days by going to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer or click on the link in the description or just scan the QR code. You'll also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription.